Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm over at the newest community in Red Point called Costalana by Taylor Morrison. They don't even have the models up, but they do have, they have been selling the lots and I'm doing a frame walkthrough with my client today. So I thought I'd do a video of it and show you what it's about. So Taylor Morrison, lot 25. It's kind of fun to go through the walkthrough to see where all the plumbing is going to be, where the electricity, everything. So it's, it's pretty awesome to see it when it's framed before it gets insulated and the drywall. So here obviously is going to be your plumbing. And that is your water line, that back pipe. And then this home is actually going to have a tankless water heater. And also it's plumbed for a water softener. This home has five bedrooms and a loft. So this is the Sequoia model. And this one has is a little over 2,600 square feet. It has five bedrooms. The first floor actually, um, which is the bedroom right there. Let's just walk this and I'll tell you about it. So they opted for the downstairs den to be a bedroom. This is your kitchen, the pantry. These two are your AC condenser lines. Obviously these are light switches. And this is where your range or cook oven's gonna be. And then the sink. It's kind of fun to see what they write in the notes. The window, duh. <laughs> and then the nice island that they're gonna have. The huge great room with an island. Again, this is Sequoia model over here at Taylor Morrison, Castellana brand new development here in Summerlin. And so this is like the entry into the full bathroom downstairs because they opted for having a full bedroom. I don't know what that's for. It's probably some kind of water lines. I wanna show you another feature that's cool. See, they're gonna get ready to do the drywall soon. But here is the tubing for the TV, the smart tubing. So you can place your TV electrical through here and then eventually put it right there. front door, the hall closet or the entry closet, and that's pretty cool right there. I just think it's cool. Look at all this. Let's tell the builders where to go. And I want to point out these orange things are the fire sprinklers that are scattered throughout the entire house, which is neat. All over the house you have the fire sprinklers. And basically, um, if there's a fire in a room and it reaches a certain temperature, the sprinkler will go off for that room. It won't go off for the whole house and it won't go off if there's just smoke. So that's really good. And then this also has the little, the green line is the green line for the bug spray. So there's a spot in the outside of the house where your bug person can squish all the liquid in and it'll go through the green tube and then spray throughout the house. So that's a pretty cool feature. All right, now we're gonna go up the stairs and right here they're gonna have railing. So it's gonna be see-through. And this is gonna be a pony wall. Whoops, excuse me. And as you walk in, this will be the laundry room. Or your washer and dryer. 
So there's four bedrooms upstairs and one bedroom downstairs to the right. This is your other bedroom. And they're all really good sized bedrooms. I like the layout of this house. And it's wired for a ceiling fan. And then this is the loft area. And this will have four can lights and a ceiling fan. See all your AC ducts. And then right here is the secondary upstairs bathroom. And this will have, that's where the toilet, that's where the toilet's gonna go and the double sinks. Then you have a bedroom here and a bedroom there. So these are really good sized bedrooms. junction box. This will be one for the light, one for the fan, and one for an uh, upside down plug so you can turn it on like a nightstand light or whatever. And here's the primary bedroom. This is a large primary bedroom. And they also will have the can lighting and ceiling fan, junction box. They also have that smart cable tubing. And then the primary bathroom with the double sinks right there. And then the shower and the toilet, obviously. And this closet is absolutely humongous. This is the same AC condenser lines up here. I showed it to you downstairs in the kitchen. So now we're gonna go take a look on the backyard and the outside of the house, basically. Okay, let's head outside. So this is gonna have a nice covered patio. And the cool thing is it has um, wiring for a ceiling fan on outside. This is gonna have pavers. And the backyard will not come landscape, the front yard will, will. So let me just show you where this house is located. First, I'm gonna turn around and show you the back of the house. and all the other houses that's gonna be next to it. So this road right here is Far Hills, right here. Right across the way is um, Paseo's Village. And right next door to this community is Carmel Cliff. Then you gotta go up. All the way up will be Sky Vista. So this is at the end of the street, which is good. There's no one gonna be behind you. I doubt this road's gonna be super busy. Um, but it's kind of fun. And it's a hot one out today. I am ready for summer to be over with. Okay, let's take a walk and look at the stuff on the side of the house. Bum, 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 bum. So the nice thing is that this house will have a garage access to the backyard. Then you have your TV cable stuff, your electrical box. Um, one of these will be your gas meter. I don't know which one. <laughs> don't remember. But let's just take a peek of the front. Again. Right out. That's cool. So their house is the only one that has that outside. Moving right along with a January closing. If 
you're thinking about buying new construction in Summerlin, I am your Summerlin expert. You can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. See you guys on the next one.